All right, what's up again, guys? Aaron here, Tatanka, whatever you want to call me, it's fine. I know that uh, this has become, you know, 240 content, but that's been, you know, put by the wayside. Um, as you may or may not know, I'm having some issues with it. Uh, I'm in the middle of waiting for parts. Um, in fact, the video that's going to be coming out soon after this, you'll see. I got it today, well, yesterday. Gonna put it in the garage today. Um, we got a little cold snap again, so I'm in a hoodie. It's nice and sunny out today. It's also gonna be nice tomorrow, so I'm hoping to get back out into the garage tomorrow in my timeline um, and finish some of the repairs we need to do in there so I can get this part on there, this big fuse. Um, however, the garage door, opener broke we got the part for that I just need to get that in there and then if you saw on the socials the TikToks and all that I gave a little teaser of what's on the floor in there I need to get that moved as well so if I can get this started today finish tomorrow while it's still warm then we're dipping back into cold weather again for source knows how long Hopefully it'll warm back up, and then I can get back out here and work on this electrical stuff in some, you know, comfort instead of trying to run the heater in the shop. There's another text. However, I did have something happen yesterday that you are now going to get a little uh, piece of. So yesterday, I took an hour drive-ish out of state to trade my E39 which wasn't in the greatest shape. It runs, drives fairly decently. A little rusty, wasn't too bad. And I got something that is going to be way more useful for me, way more useful for uh, my family, and definitely way more useful for this channel. And here it is. <laughs> this is um, honestly quite ridiculous. I think it's badass, personally. Um, but as you can see, I now have a truck. Um, I've never personally owned a truck. Um, and I've definitely never had one quite like this. It, it is not in a perfect condition. We can see in here. Um, let me take the camera off the stand here. Hold on. I'm gonna start walking around with my hand. So, it is not perfect. Um, the bed is a little rusty, this big box thing. Um, but I fully intend on repairing this. I didn't even realize these lights, these holes up top here. So that's going to have to be replaced in some fashion. And I'm sure the damage here is what caused a lot of this damage. But, uh, so yeah, it's a big old box truck. It is a dually. It is a Chevy. I don't actually say it like that, but you know, it's having fun. And it is a 3500. I don't, I, I don't know if that's just part of it being a dually or not. But you know, it does need some work. The cab is actually in surprisingly good shape. Like it is, I mean, yeah, it's a little crusty in some areas, but usually, you know, with these old trucks, this is a 97, you've got like cab corners that are totally gone. Oh, I just kicked a hole in that, but I mean, for the most part, <laughs> it's pretty solid. <laughs> it is not perfect by any means, but it is going to be far more useful than the E39 in terms of moving stuff around, picking up parts. Obviously, it can tow. It's huge. The underside is not very rusty. So yeah, let's show you a little more of the truck. I do have some uh, S chassis, new S chassis things that are gonna be in there. Gonna have to fix the door pins as usual with these old trucks. I'm guessing that's my door switch. Yeah, and check this out. It's a 97, right? We only have 100. And 68,000 miles. 
it's pretty rad. Um, it was originally white, as you can see. It was painted some sort of Chrysler red by a farmer who owned it before the guy that I got it from. And before that keeps interrupting the video, I'm going to go ahead and answer that text. All right, that was it. Okay. Tires are in good shape. The brakes seem fine. They, they, they work just fine driving it. Um, yeah. And you can see that is diesel. So this has the 6.5 Dirty Max. I guess we can pop the other on it too. Why not? I'm not going to do any like you know, crazy beauty shots of this thing. This is just Tatanka Enterprises' new company work vehicle, I suppose. There she is. Already has some slight modifications. It has the heat sink for the fuel computer. I don't totally understand all of this. And it has an electronic vacuum pump that basically just operates the wastegate. It's got Hydro Boost brakes. You know, because diesels don't make vacuum. And yeah, there's a little baby turbo. It's kind of insane that I have a 6.5 liter V8 truck that's turboed. It's a Borg Warner turbo. Pretty cool. Um, but the turbo is smaller on this than it is on the engine that's going in the S chassis. So. Oh gosh. It's an old American muscle truck. Let's just treat it like one. So yeah, these boxes, some of them don't have floors. They're pretty rusted. Um, I think two of them don't have floors. One of the ones that doesn't have a floor, the, the, the handle actually like broke off. So there's no handle there and no floor. And I'm almost wondering if the lack of mud flaps may have been a culprit of that on top of you know the doors here are missing so it would be cool to find some doors or maybe make some doors and then definitely the uh, broken little ceiling lights I think had a part in this but I feel like most of this can be repaired that's a water tank <laughs> they're like I don't know if these are giant light bulbs or something in here. But I drove it an hour back and it actually drove better than the E39. So I'm curious to the construction of this. If it can be like taken apart in pieces, like that would be great for repairs. But I'm thinking not. It's probably just some giant welded mass of steel. But yeah, so this is gonna be used to do a lot of things. Um, gonna definitely have to fix that floor there, probably take that water tank out, fix these in some fashion. I don't know, maybe I can just, I have no clue. I literally have no clue. I didn't even realize I was broken at first, but yeah. There she is. Let's, uh, let's start her up for you, shall we? This thing is just hilarious. But I love it.
so that's the truck. <laughs> Smokes a bit on startup. Not totally sure why. It definitely has an exhaust leak. I'm sure you can hear it in that. Uh, big old, big old diesel dually. You're gonna have fun with this. <laughs> 